hundred percent. You turn them off yeah. now, and that goes to show that you are on here to stick together and do your content, and the other people are just on here to make a pound coin. No 100%. good waiting until Sunday, Adam. No, I agree. I agree, mate. What, yeah. What's waiting until Sunday? It's just giving people the opportunity to still sit on here and make their shopping money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need more like that, Zenit. Come on, fucking hell. <laughs> and the sooner, sooner people, like, like I said, I, I said to, to, to G Crew earlier in a live, like, you just need that, that few to make a point. Make a video. Tell your followers and your viewers and your gifters for the next few weeks. I'm not even bothered about this yet. And I, I, I jokingly said, hashtag morals over money earlier. Like, you're going to show people that you want to do things the right way. Yeah, and if you've you can got show models. people you want to do that, if you make a video and then some other big creator duets it and another big, it's like a wildfire, mate. It's going to spread yeah. Yeah. around the app. Yeah. <laughs> Adam loves Game of Thrones. Well, he's right. I'm glad, you've come to <laughs> I'm glad you've come in and said it because that's what I was saying. You wouldn't wait five days to react. You react instantly. Because even these next five days, they're going to make loads of money. And if you as a person have morals and you want to stand together and make TikTok realise that they're doing something wrong, you pick that phone up, you tell your manager, release you. We're no longer doing the rankings till the problem solved. Do it now. Do it now, not five days time. Do you know? Oh, five listen, days time, five listen, days time is too late. That. Sorry, guys, I don't care about that. Like, listen, if, if I lose my account over this, I lose my account over it is what it is. Like, I, I, I don't really care. But TikTok have to, like, TikTok, as a, as, even as a UK entity, you know, they've got their headquarters in the UK. You see all these people getting invited to the TikTok offices to promote this, promote that, promote this. And, you know, this guy who's just been, I, I, I'm not even going to call him by name because he doesn't deserve to have his name mentioned. You know, this guy who's just been sent to prison, you know, he was having TikTok sponsored lives where they were promoting out his lives to a massive, massive audience, his own personal banner within the app and, and that. There has to be something deeper that TikTok can do moving forward that is going to safeguard a lot of, lot of people on this app. And they're not going to even consider that without people like yourselves, other people that do the weeklies, just taking a stand. And even if it is for a couple of weeks, if you hit TikTok in the money pocket and you tell your gifters for the next couple of weeks, don't gift. I'm not about that for the next couple of weeks. I'd rather make a point. TikTok will take notice at some point. Yeah, but it's got to be done instantly. TikTok, TikTok, they're watching. They, you, like, they're, they, there's TikTok managers in all the lives. They watch oh, everything that's going on right now to, to this morning to, to, to the night. They know what's going on. They just, it's, it's like, a TikTok manager is only money driven and that's it. Like, they don't, that that's, it's business to them and that's it. Of course it's a business. And I'll be, oh, listen, I'm always honest. I, I don't, listen, there's people on there that like me, don't like me, just like us all, mate. But yeah, yeah. the only time, and this is me odd being honestly, God's honest truth to you, the only time I ever got invited to TikTok HQ was when they first introduced the competitions back in the day. You remember like the Rad, the Witch's Broom one and all shit like that? Yeah. yeah. That's the only time I ever got invited to TikTok HQ was when I was on some leaderboard two years ago and I got a message saying, we'd love you to come down. We'd love to discuss you. We'd love to put you out here. We'd love to put you out there. And I said, no, never heard from it ever again. True yeah. story. Yeah, that's it. I get I get message I get messages off them saying I've arranged this for you, I've arranged that, and I don't do it. And then they don't. They're like, when I get a ban or something, I'm like, can you um sort my video out? They won't reply for like seven days or something like that until it's done. Yeah. So the stance needs to be made. If everybody's going to agree to it, do it from today, eight o'clock tonight. Bump. Everybody's two weeks off. That will fucking then see who the ones are that fucking stand together. No good waiting till Sunday. No good waiting till tomorrow. You do something, you've got to do it immediately. Because they're still going to benefit. Yeah. And unfortunately, I don't think much will change from their, their part. That's no, the sad I thing don't. about it. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. is the sad thing about it. I don't think much is going to change. But at least if, like I say, for those that do try to make a stand, at least at the end of all this, in, in, in a week's time, two yeah, weeks' time, however, yeah. at least then you guys can stand tall and say, look, guys, we tried. We did try. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We've done the right thing for the right reason. Exactly that. 
exactly that. And for those of the, and for those, I've said it, I don't want to sound like a a broken record, but for those that don't and just carry on regardless, it says everything about them. Everything you need to know about that person or that creator that, that they're telling you without telling you. Yeah. It's like him, it, it's like that. It's like, I'm not bothered if my account goes. Number four, it's like him. Listen, man, them accusations, he should be like, do you, do you remember Mason Greenwood when he got accused of it by Man United and they suspended him? That man should be suspended off TikTok Live until found innocent. Because at the minute, with them accusations, you've got to treat him as guilty, right? But they're still allowing him to be on a platform being introduced to thousands of thousands of different people by people right. jumping in his box and exploiting their fucking, their following and their support. That man only has to press a follow and then press a DM and they're still enabling this to happen. So that man should be took away and then whatever the outcome is, then they decide whether he returns or not. But they won't do that because you've got half of the fuckers jumping in the box to earn the pounds, to earn the pennies, to earn the hundreds. And that's, that, that's always how it is going to be, mate. I mean, you was on live yesterday and I saw, again, someone I don't like, so I'm not even going to give him the airtime, but defending the man. And the reason that that man was defending that man was because he's making fucking money out of him, mate. It's as simple as that. I know who you're on about. Yeah, I know who you're It's the only reason why that man was in there defending him, because he's in there on the daily at the minute, getting the coin off him. So, of course, he's going to sit there and fucking defend him. He's not going to slag someone off that is essentially lining his pockets at the minute. Yeah. And that's what you'll find with a lot of creators that go in, in go into his box battles and they're making coin. So why the fuck are they going to turn around and say, oh, no, nah, I'm not agreeing with what Giadro's doing at the minute because they're fucking going to lose out on money. They're not fucking stupid. Yeah, well, fuck your money, man. Fuck that. Not when it comes to serious allegations and shit. It's not even, sorry, Craig, it's not even that as well. Like, I'm not being funny, yeah? If you get in the rankings all the time, which most most of us that are, like, talking about all this, yeah, do, it's not going to hurt you the week, is it? No, it ain't going to hurt you. No. no. That, like, it's just pure... It's, it just show... It will just show pure greed, man. Yes. Yes, of course. Of course. But so I think if, you, if everyone's going to do it, then somewhere... We need to fucking, I don't know, someone needs to reach out and say, right, fuck Sunday, we're going to do it from now. And then the people that carry on till Sunday, you're going to fucking see the kind of people they fucking are. Yeah. Do you understand where I'm coming from? And I don't mean I'm not talking to anybody, but I'm just saying, with the ideas, it's no good doing something when it's too late. No. But this is what I'm saying about you, you need... You need a handful, 10, 15, 20 of you that are yes. prepared to make that stand because it's the old, old age saying, one man, one man can't win a war. That's Do you know right. what I mean? You need yeah. a few of you that are on the weeklies, that know the score, that can turn around and say, look, you know, one week for me not doing this ain't going to fucking hurt my life. I'd rather make a stand. Yes. But it's getting them people to turn around and say you know what i'm with you on this one and it's hard and just going back to your point a minute ago mate about taking these people off the app i agree with you mate they shouldn't be on the app if there's rumors going around and there's allegations being thrown around as serious as some of the allegations that get thrown yeah. on TikTok, they should be gone but do you know what the fucking problem is there though mate is because they'll get that account taken down within five minutes they're back on another one. account and they've got ten thousand followers again and they'll straight back on live yeah or well, he should be a TikTok policy with them allegations. You have got a fucking court order or something in writing. You are not coming back to this social media site. You've got an IP ban address. Mm-hmm. And, you know, a bit like the Lucy Rose fucking situation when she went to court for it. It's serious allegations, mate. And they're being allowed to still be on here and promote themselves. It's disgusting behaviour. I, I just get baffled, mate, when... Listen, I know we're, we're talking about someone who's on the, the, the weeklies at the minute. When these allegations are going round, right, and when, when even a creator admits to stuff that they've proved, listen, we've all got a past, we've all done stuff that we most probably regret, yeah. but there's a limit to, like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? There's a yeah. difference between being a bit of a prick to someone in the past compared to some of these allegations. But when people are openly admitting as well that, yes, I'm on this, Claire's Law, I've done this and I've done that and I've done this and I've done that, what the fuck is going through people's heads that make them think that this person person is worthy of taking my hard-earned money and giving it to people like that 